in this video I will show you an example of Milman's theorem using Milman's theorem calculate the current through this 5 ohm resistor I have to use Milman's theorem while I was talking about Milman's theorem I have told you that when we will apply Milman's theorem the branches must be connected in parallel see these branches are connected in parallel connection and a branch can contain only one source and one resistor now if you look at this branch you will see within this branch I have total two resistors 15 ohm and this 20 ohm as within this branch they are connected in series I can reduce these two resistances with an equivalent resistance of 35 ohm okay if you look at this branch you will see within this branch this 2 volt and this 4 volt voltage sources are connected in series and they are have the same polarity that means the minus sign is in downward direction and the plus sign is in upward direction therefore they will supply total 6 volt in this branch therefore if I reduce the entire network you will see our network will look like this see I have replaced the resistance of this branch with 30 ohm resistor and this voltage with 6 volt now our circuit will look like this and in this circuit I will apply Milman's theorem and find out the current through this load resistor RL of 5 ohm as I have to apply Milman's theorem with respect to this A and B terminal across which our load resistor is connected at first I will disconnect this load resistor from our circuit if I disconnect the load resistor RL from our circuit you will see this terminal and this terminal will be an open circuit and according to Milman's theorem I can reduce this entire network to a voltage source whose value will be VEQ and a series resistor REQ if I connect that VEQ and REQ across this RL our circuit will look like this so our circuit will look like this where VEQ will be the open circuit voltage across A and B terminal and R equivalent will be the equivalent resistance with respect to this A and B terminal with respect to this A and B terminal so at first I will calculate VEQ in case of this circuit to calculate VEQ in this circuit I will use I will use the formula I have derived during the analysis of Milman circuit our VEQ will be equal to V1 divided by R1 plus V2 divided by R2 plus V3 divided by R3 plus V4 divided by R4 I will take total 4 quantities because here we have total 4 branches in parallel in the denominator I will take 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 plus 1 by R4 now see this V1 is equal to 10 volt the R1 is equal to 35 ohm V2 is equal to 6 volt R2 is equal to 10 ohm V3 is equal to 5 volt R3 is equal to 10 ohm and now look at the branch number 4 here we don't have any voltage source let's say if I talk about the voltage across these two terminal you will see we will get voltage drop of 0 therefore I will I will assume V4 will be equal to 0 divided by R4 40 ohm equal to 1 by R1 will be equal to 1 by 35 plus 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10 plus 1 by 40 therefore our this VEQ is the open circuit voltage 
in the numerator I will get 1.3857 in the denominator I will get 0 0.253 therefore our e open terminal or open circuit voltage will be equal to 5.48 volt see this network will have a voltage source of 5.48 volt after that I will calculate R equivalent the resistance with respect to these two terminals while calculating R equivalent in some book you will see these will be denoted as Thevenin equivalent resistance or Norton equivalent resistances while calculating Thevenin or Norton or this R equivalent resistance I will replace the voltage sources with short circuit and current sources with open circuit so after replacing the voltage sources with short circuit our circuit will look like this now you will see with respect to this A and B terminal this 35 ohm, this 10 ohm, this 10 ohm and this 40 ohm resistances will be connected in parallel therefore I can calculate our R equivalent by using this formula 1 by R equivalent will be equal to as they are in parallel therefore I will use the equivalent resistance of parallel resistance 1 by 35 plus 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10 plus 1 by 40 if I take the reciprocal of this I will get R equivalent will be equal to 1 divided by 1 by 35 plus 1 divided by 10 plus 1 divided by 10 plus 1 divided by 40 this will give us a value of 0 0.253 which will give us a value of 3.94 ohm so in this circuit our R equivalent will be equal to 3.94 ohm as this is a total series circuit let's say the current that will be flowing through this RL will be IL so I will calculate IL by using the simple formula IL will be equal to total supply voltage in this circuit is equal to 5.48 volt divided by the total resistances in the circuit 3.94 plus 5 which will give us a value of 0 0.61 ampere I can approximate it like this our current will be equal to 610 milli ampere now let me run the simulation to verify my circuit analysis see this is the circuit I have set up now look at the reading of the multimeter it will show a current of 611 milliampere through the 5 ohm resistor as during the calculation I have considered the approximate value therefore there is a slight difference between our calculated and the simulated value if in this circuit you see the open circuit voltage or min millman voltage you will see it will be equal to 5.465 volt which I have shown equal to 5.48 volt that means more or less quite okay that's it thank you